Hey guys, welcome back, and today I have been a little bit down, I guess you could say. I Well, yesterday I had like an existential crisis. I was just thinking about life and like where I want to go next and what I want to do, and I was actually talking to a friend of mine today at work, Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. Um, <laughs> but I was uh, talking to her today, and she asked me, there was this certain thing that I wanted to do, um, and I knew I wanted to do it like all of my life. And she was like, do you want to do it? And I was like, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know anymore. Like, it's weird that, like, I, I feel like I've told you guys this before. I probably have. Um, but every now and then I have one of those moods where you're like, um, for example, if you would have asked me 10 years ago what I want in life, what I want out of this life, um, I would have been able to tell you. I would have told you right then and there. I would have told you what I wanted, where I wanted to be, who I wanted to be with. I knew exactly what I wanted, um, what I wanted to do, everything. I knew it all. And now here I am, like almost 30. I should have my shit figured out. I should have it like, I should be a little more organized. And I, I guess like I, I am a Virgo and I feel like I don't know whether I really, I like to believe in the astrology thing, but I don't really know if it's like, it's not scientific facts, it's just a theory, but it's still pretty accurate sometimes. Um, and one of the stereotypes for being a Virgo is like, we need organization. Um, otherwise we just, we, we feel overwhelmed and we feel panicky or like, we just can't like relax or feel good about ourselves if we live a pretty messy life or live in a messy house or like anything's messy. It's got to be organized. Um, and I am a very organized person. I have a, a system. I need like a system to function properly. Um, I have like a routine. I have a plate in my house. It's not the cleanest house. However, it, everything has a place and everything is in its place. And I know like I can tell if somebody's been in my house just by looking at something like something's different. I'm like, like my eyes just know exactly where to look if something's slightly different. Um, it's pretty weird. I am a very organized person. Um, some may say OCD, but I'm not that bad. But I just feel like in my life, I used to have um, like structure. I used to have a plan. I knew what I wanted. I, like I said, I knew where I wanted to be, what I wanted to be doing, who I wanted to be doing it with. But now I'm almost 30 and I don't fucking have a clue what I'm doing. It's crazy, and I don't understand how I got to this place. Like, even with YouTube, I'm back and forth, and I hate to say this to you guys because, like, I really love YouTube. YouTube has given me so much that I could never have achieved without YouTube, you know? Um, but there is a point where, and by the way, just ignore the background noises. There's hooligans out there having a, a good time, and I don't know how I feel about that. I hate the sound of people having fun. <gasps> oh, and now they're singing the happy birthday song, so that's what's going on. I can't deal with this. I'm going to have to go around there and I'm going to have to teach them a lesson. Maybe that's how Karens are born. Maybe they are lost in life by the time they're in their late 20s. And then by the time they're in their 40s, they get the Karen haircut. Then they go all Karen. Maybe I'm becoming a Karen. Oh, this is tragic. I feel it. I'm becoming a Karen. <gasps> no, but in all seriousness, though. Um, I feel like it's weird because I am almost 30, like I was saying, um, and I should have my shit figured out. I should have a plan. I should have a goal. I should be doing these things. I even had a, a Zoom call with my friend the other day who I haven't spoke to since we were kids, and we literally talked about this, um, and I was saying, like, it to me, it feels like the passion has burnt out, and, like, even, like I was just saying, with YouTube... Like, I love YouTube. YouTube's done so much for me. It's benefited me in a lot of ways, and it is an accomplishment to have achieved what I've achieved. Not many people get to say they've reached 160,000 subscribers, got verified, got a silver plaque sent to them in the mail by YouTube. But I did it. Me, who was like an irrelevant nobody, literally nobody. I didn't matter. I was nothing. And I became somewhat something with YouTube. Even though my channel's not performing its best right now, but like years ago it did. Tens of thousands of views, hundreds of thousands, even millions on some of the videos. And like, I have I guess I've done something to put myself out there in the world. Thousands of videos. And that, I guess, is an accomplishment. And this is what my friend, my old friend from childhood, made me realize uh, the other night talking about this. 
But it's like, I get what he was saying and I know it made sense. It just, to me, it feels like the passion is gone. Um, like with YouTube, I remember being like 22 talking about being a YouTuber. People would ask, what do you do for a living? And although I wasn't making like a full-time living on YouTube, I would be like, I'm a YouTuber. That's how I make my living. I'm a YouTube star. And I almost was like bragging about it. Like I was proud. I was so proud to be a YouTuber. I would take any opportunity I could to talk about it. Um, to the point where pre people were probably sick of hearing about it. And like people never really did. Like they never were like, oh my God, stop talking about it. They were interested. They were fascinated. And they constantly wanted to ask more questions. And I was happy to talk about it. And they would be like, oh man, Mike, you you're doing so good like you've really like accomplished something like not many people have accomplished and even my friend said how many people from our school growing up ever became like a youtube star none of them the only one was me but it's now that i'm getting older this is where like the feeling has changed and um it's like i'm almost embarrassed to say i'm a youtuber now like i even one of my friends from work or most of my friends from work but i remember one of them specifically um she had been working there for about a year at this point and we really got to know each other she knew like everything about my life i was literally opening opening up to her about everything except that i was a youtuber that was the one thing i kept secret until i felt like one day she's gonna find out i might as well just be the one to tell her so i did i just said hey did i ever tell you like i make youtube videos and like it makes me fucking sick to my stomach whenever i say that to people now um they're like what kind of youtube videos do you make and i'm like oh fuck i don't even want to get into that i don't make scammer videos with a silly voice or talking about belle delphine or like <laughs> making scary video like the scary videos i love right um it's just, I burnt out with that. Let me just address something else. Like this is my freight, my train of thought right now is like just everywhere. So you're experiencing what it's like to be in my brain. I get distracted. I start talking about one topic. Then I will say something while I'm talking about that topic that reminds me of another topic. And then I lose my train of thought. So just try to bear with me. I can't think straight at the moment. Um, my head is just like a freaking. it's just a jungle of mess in there right now. But like, and now I can't remember what I'm saying. <laughs> oh yeah, the scary videos and everything like that. Like, so uh, what happened there? Um, well, I basically lost motivation again. And it's, I know you guys are going to be like, I like the scary video or do this, do this. Like I see comments, go urban exploring, go ghost hunting. Like I see these comments and I just don't want to, like, I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to. I feel like I just don't have the energy, not not the physical energy. Um, physically, I feel better than I've ever felt in my life, believe it or not. But it's the mental energy. Like, I feel like I'm just not mentally up for it. I don't want to put the work into it. I don't want to do that. And I know it would boost my channel a lot. I know that. I'm aware of these things. Um, I even want to go to movie locations. That is something I really, really want to do. I want to go to places and make videos at my favorite movie locations. Um, but it's the, the the traveling, the expenses, and the, the stress of booking tickets and this and that and flights. And it's just like, I don't have that energy. And although I really want to do that, I don't want to do it that much where I'm willing to put up with the stress and deal with that, you know? Um, and like, I saw one of the comments the other day from a very, um, long time fan of mine, I guess you could say. Um, and she said, when are you doing paranormal America again? Like, when are you bringing that back? And I felt like so bad when I saw that because I just thought like, I, I started that series again because I was motivated and then again I just burnt out and that's the problem with being a youtuber that not many people understand unless you're doing this you won't understand it's like you just I know I could do it but I just know if I did do it I would half ass it it would not be good um I would just rush it because I don't want to do the work I don't want to do the work because I really don't care about it right now um although I love the paranormal I love ghost stories I love this kind of thing but I just don't care about anything. It's not just that. It's everything in my life. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, I feel like I'm having this like dilemma where I don't know where I want to go. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know anything anymore. Um, I don't, my dreams that used to be dreams no longer feel like dreams to me. Um, it just feels like I'm just existing, but I don't know why I'm existing. And I don't know what to do about it. That's the problem. It's like, I just feel like, 
I don't care about anything. Like, I care about go I don't even care about ghosts, or I don't care about anything. I don't care about scary things. I, like, I find comfort in my own little things, and I, like, I've just kind of trapped myself in this comfort zone of surrounding myself with the very few little things that still bring me joy. But everything else, I don't care. Like, I'm no longer interested in anything. Um, I'm just existing. And it's exhausting even to just feel like I don't care about anything. You would think that would be very liberating in your mind, but it's not. I'm still exhausted mentally. Like, I'm exhausted by my own brain and my own thinking. And it's crazy. I don't know. I hope you guys understand a little bit of this. Um, it's just... It's rough. Like, I really don't know what else to tell you guys. But I just wanted to get that off my chest. It was it was more today. Like, last night, I was feeling this way a little bit and thinking a lot. And then today, my friend at work talked to me about it. And she was like, do you still want to do that thing that you, like, always wanted to do? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. Like, I know I would like to do it. But I just don't want to put the effort into it right now. I don't want to put the energy into it because I don't have it to give. Um, I'm not motivated and I, I'm finding out how to get motivated. I feel like I don't know whether 30 when I turn 30 um, Maybe that will be like fuck it's now or never which is what my friend said to me the other day on the zoom call It's like we're at that age now where it's now or never um, But I, I feel like that hasn't really scared me into it enough yet. It hasn't registered Maybe when I do actually turn 30, that's when I will realize shit. It is now or never <laughs> like I'm in my 30s now the next one's 40 I've got 10 short years because trust me, time fucking flies, guys. Um, 10 short years to do something until I'm going to be 40. And I mean, 40 is not old, but it's like, it's typically like, that's the halfway point, you know? Um, I want to be at a, a place where I'm actually happy and I'm doing what I want to do by the time I'm 40 because I'm definitely not there and it's almost time to be 30. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to jump on here and kind of vent to you guys a little bit. I've been thinking a lot lately. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend anyway. Sorry if this bummed you out, but let me know in the comment section if any of you guys kind of relate on that. Um, and what would you do? How would you deal with it? Please let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and chase your dreams.